According to reports today, Kevin Thelwell has been provided with the assurances that there will be cash for him to spend in the January transfer window from the freaking group. Everton are hoping for the takeover deal to be completed before Christmas, which would allow them to get their plans for some extra spending power in the winter transfer window. And um, yeah, listen, there's nothing new there, is there? If... John Texter was speaking about this when he was interested in it. The club knows they need some extra cash. Um, the PSR, even if you're just going off sales with versus money spent on bringing players in, it's around £40 million pound the difference. Everton needs some cash to get down payments for players. And therefore, if the freaking group can uh, can get this takeover done, then they can provide some of that working capital for Kevin Thelwell to uh, to put down his down payments. Evan, I've obviously got a list of players they're interested in. And um, as long as them assurances have been given, they can start doing the groundwork. Uh, just on the freakings, the Dan Freakin and Ryan Freakin have been pictured on British soil uh, playing golf in Scotland ahead of an Alfred Dunhill tournament up at St Andrews. Further to that, uh, Roma's director of football has been speaking as a given interview to the press in Italy. Just looking for his name, wherever it's gone. It's Florent Gisolfi. Um, and he has said uh, about Roma, which I think some Evertonians can read into what the Freakins want at Everton as well, says that we want a club that is not dependent on technicians or managers. Uh, we want to create stability and we are doing it by expanding the management. We've avoided loans to increase the value of the club's players. The CEO will be announced soon. Uh, Satori is the director of performance and we will rebuild the scouting department. The Freakins want a great team in the new stadium. They say the purchase of Everton means nothing will change for Roma. But some indications there, I've heard this a few times with regards to how the Freakins are viewing stuff. It's not the importance of the manager, which is exactly what it should be at football clubs now. Um, I think it's about creating an environment where you're buying players for the football club and not for a certain manager. And that means that if you do need to replace the manager, you bring someone in who is also capable of working with that style of play. And I think too often at Everton, we've managed to create a Frankenstein squad buying players for certain managers. And then when they're sacked, we've gone and brought a different manager in. They can't work with them players. It's a way to almost foolproof that, and the Freakins have identified that. Very much like the way Brighton sort of work, that kind of thing of they know what they want to do, the type of player they want to um, bring in, and then they can identify coaches that can work with that group of players. It's obviously easier to replace a manager than 25 players in a squad, so that's what Roma are heading towards. According to reports in Spain, um, Everton are very interested in Dario Asugo from Sporting Club. Um, they're thinking of bringing him in next summer. The 19-year-old midfielder is currently on loan at Las Palmas. He's Portuguese and has been named as a potential signing for the future for Everton Football Club. And finally, Everton forward Beto has chose to represent Guinea-Bissau at international level and he could feature for them during the next international break. He's picked Guinea-Bissau over Portugal. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later.